it's 12 o'clock afternoon and yeah today i'm climbing that peaks i don't know one of those peaks and definitely i'll be getting close to that glacier glacier and yeah it looks close by but it might take me two to three hours because i'll be filming in between but if i like drag straight in maybe two hours but let's see i don't want to i don't want to guess anything the trail will be very hard it's very steep and it's very sunny today but the temp it's very sunny but the temperature is like between mostly 15 under 15 or under 16 so yeah beautiful place again Badum village no it's a Badum town beautiful place Zanskar Zanskar is actually is uh six seven hours from Leh they have two different roads the road I took last time it was like six hours and halfway is a black topping and halfway is very off-roading and people doesn't come here much and it's little like sort of remote area and now the road the highway is under constructions and of course there are a lot of tourists coming in bikers and also this is also very close to Manali Manali is like six hours from here to other direction so my plan is to go to Manali tomorrow and I'll be cancelling my trip to Nupra because if I go back to Leh and do the Nupra trip, you know, it will take me weeks. So my days is my days are running out. So I'll take Manali road tomorrow, and I'll be Manali around this time. And I'm looking forward to do some adventure activities. Thank you, thank you. Again, I'm changing my plans. It seems that was my 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 plan. That big, that first bit. I didn't go to the glacier. Now there is a slope down, and then there is another mountain mountain beyond. It's visible from here, but not from down there. So I have to maybe hike up this mountain, this big, and then go take slight left and go to the glacier i think the glacier is further but let's see but anyway here we have some locals i'll just say hello hi chule kahan jayega kar me upar jayega kahan jayega upar par kahan tha me nagaland se nagaland se ha 
मैं वहाँ जा रहा है वहाँ पे हाँ फोटो लेगा फोटो ऐसे जाएगा ऐसे जाएगा हाँ नहीं तो ऐसे जाएगा ऐसे जाएगा मुझे वो टेकना है वो पड़ा फेना वो टेकना है और यहाँ से काउंट देखना है अतुन देखना है फोटो उठाने अतुन कहाँ जा रहा है अतुन जाना है साथी नहीं हुआ साथी नहीं हाँ लड़की नहीं मिला लड़की नहीं मिलेगा हाँ लड़की नहीं मिला हाँ साथी करेगा करेगा अभी टाइम में अतुन कहाँ जा रहा है करेगा साथी करो साथी करेगा पहले लड़की मिलने तो हाँ रास्कर से नागालैंड से हाँ मैं नागालैंड से नागालैंड पता है ना पता है एक दिन दूर जा रहे हैं थोड़ा पता है हाँ वहाँ सूरज भी करता है जंगल है जंगल जंगल है हाँ ये यहाँ पे भी नहीं है जंगल नहीं है ये सुंदर है बहुत सुंदर है बहुत सुंदर है संस्कार तो संस्कार घूमा मैंने ले गया चलो ऊपर बाय बाय दैट इज माय इनिशियल प्लान दैट पिक नाउ आई हैव थिंग आई मई गो आई मई क्लाइम फ्रॉम दिस दिस स्लोप आई फॉल जस्ट फॉलो द रिवर एंड फाइंड द सोर्स एंड आई एम श्योर इट विल टेक लिट मी डू दैट ग्लेशियर वे द वाटर सोर्स आर एंड बाय द वे दिस वाटर इज लाइक इट्स ग्लेशियर इट्स मेल्टिंग लाइक एनी थिंग दस बाय द कारण इज वेरी स्ट्रॉन्ग लाइक या नाउ क्लाइमेट चेंज इज अ वेरी हॉट टॉपिक गोइंग ऑन आर आई एम नॉट श्योर हाउ मेनी ऑफ यू कैस or concern about it not just here but everywhere even in my hometown Nagaland like Assam or everywhere I have been in places so I think climate change is impacting like to so many like beautiful habitats and it, like also the people you know it's getting warmer in summer and it's getting colder in winter so that's because of the climate change and where do i go okay run 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 people think i'm strangers as a man stranger
my throat is dried up my lips are getting dry it's so windy so i need to hydrate myself so when you are climbing when you are talking or anything when you drink water like someone told me some expert they said like do not drink a lot of water drink enough that it can like it can give you the hydrations but the, don't just go no, no, don't just rush and drink water like too much so like i've taken one shot and this is second shot so yeah so i my water bottle is like 750 ml <laughs> so this is the first and i should be drinking until i reach somewhere top How can I cross this?
My bad, my bad, my mistake. I should have crossed from long stream earlier. Woo! I have to go down and then cross the river again. I did it! <laughs> this is safe! I am safe! Otherwise I would have gone back. Almost there. I'm just trying to figure out which direction should I take. If I take this road and go up this, go there, somewhere in the middle, I can see the view of this bottom down and go to the top of this first big and take some photo and videos from there the view of the own and the other landscape and from that peak I can walk to the ridge and go to another peak which is in the center and be in the center there is a little bit higher peak and from there I think we can see the glacier that highest peak like face to face yesterday somehow at some point I was there planning on leaving this morning itself. There was a ticket for Manali and I thought I'll go to Manali and do a paragliding and I said like, that's not enough. I saw this big and I'm like I was it was so tempting and I was like sort of challenging myself. You have seen this big man, how can you go back without saying hello, without giving a try?
that's the point I should decide, left or right. So I'm taking either right or left. This is huge stone, very huge. The climb is getting harder now. This, this is like very steep. So that part is that's the slope. Now this is very steep. It's getting steeper. And yes, I have to change my strategy of walking. I have to go zigzag, not straight. If I go straight, it will be tiring. My legs will be tiring. So what you do is to go zigzag. Go right, go left. So you, you also control your breath. breath. If, you are, if you are not able to control your breathing, that's when you lose your stamina and you give up. So yeah, zigzag. And let's not think about how difficult is the climb or how steep is this mountain? Let's just think about something else. What should I take? I don't have anything to take. When do I buy a good camera? When do I buy a good lens? There's only thoughts I have. I think I have decided I will take this road. This is going to be a little challenge challenging. Not that I am giving up.
Hello everybody Here I am This is the peak, the first peak I was planning And now I'll be heading towards there I thought of taking slight left and following the ridge over there But it will take a lot of time for me so I'm going like head on up I'm going straight doesn't matter if it's hard or if it's hard it will be hard it's very steep and I came all the way from there this part has taken my breath so I was like climbing up following you know like doing the zigzag to control my breath you know but yeah it was difficult and it took time it took some time to reach for me to reach here so this is a very huge stone so if if you look below i don't want to go down there but there is a clash there is a snow like in the shed yeah maybe i'll go down after some time and show you guys and one interesting thing so uh, earlier i said about the town there in the downstream is it's like it's a little bit muddy and not very clean like for drinking so here we have this running water this is straight from the glacier i can i can feel the water but but first i want to show you guys this is the snow this is the snow it is hard it is like it is hard and it's slowly it's melting and do we have any marks of the wildlife let me just check what are these also these are the stones so this is very similar to the foot foot marks of uh, mammals ibex and blue sheep you know but this is not the one and if we go down there This is steep, let me not fall. Yeah, there is also a huge pile of snow, it's just melting. And yeah, I fill my water bottle and then I'll, I'll take some shots from here and ready to move ahead. So, this is my bag. I'll just go and feel the water. Before that, let me have a sip. Look at the mountain, the high altitude. It's like like an eye level, but once I get at the top, it will be like equivalent. I'm like eye to eye. But damn, it's difficult, man. <coughs> so, <coughs> ah. My friend in Delhi, <coughs> do you want to be here and drink this freezing cold water? <laughs> do you want this wind? I can imagine, I don't know, the situation in Delhi, oh my god, 40 plus. I used to be there and not to forget the mosquitoes, oh my god, so much annoying. But yeah, 
take a break and come up here. Maybe go to Mussoorie, maybe go to anywhere in Uttarakhand, Himachal. Take a break, guys, take a break. So, yeah, Delhi guys, the clouds, the huge stones, and me in the high altitude looking down on me who is that tiny guy tiny things what is he trying climbing up here I am going up there so yeah I'll just get some bureaus and I'll move up from here it is getting difficult the elevation is 4300 meter I don't know if my compass is accurate or not, but I've already like walk above or track above 4,000 meter. By the time I reach at the top, could be 5,000 5, meter. Yeah, it will probably be 5,000 plus meter altitude. I'm tired. But I'm pushing on because I cannot back down. I should reach. I should reach up there and greet the glacier. Maybe I should eat, eat something. Banana. But I want to be somewhere. I want to be somewhere at the top. That stone, just, just below this snow, that's the middle point, and from there it's halfway to the top. So I will sit there and eat. For now, I just want to just walk along. I'm scared what if the what if I encounter beer? So this The surface is a little smooth. There may have been some wildlife, some mammals. But I don't expect to see or encounter any wildlife here, especially not the bear. Because if I encounter the bear, oh, that means end of the trek. <laughs> end of everything <laughs> because bear used to hibernate for six months in the winter especially like in the terrain like this during the snow season they hide in the calf and they give birth to the calf or cubs and they come up very hungry after hibern hibern like from hibernation of six months I'm getting a call, but I'll call back in a while. Now it's serious then. Now it's serious then. I'm sure. Oh yeah, I'm talking about the beer. So the, there are a few grasses and I think nothing much for the beer to eat or to graze here. Beer love fruits, berries, and this thing now find they might have gone up also to the meadows because in the meadows they find green pasture they can crash over there they can find all sort of vegetations and yeah 
and during this process when they are grazing the bear are very dangerous they will attack they will attack us anyway so I have to be careful I don't have any weapons I don't have any tools I have all these stones I don't think it will do the job maybe I have this but I know some tricks when you meet a bear when you encounter a bear you have running won't help you climbing the trees won't help either so all you do is just stand tall and make yourself huge in front of him and you raise your voice as loud as you can your mighty voice and that might keep him away but no guarantee if that doesn't work there is no way there is no skip oh. the question is am I trekking or am I hiking or am I climbing I feel like I'm, I'm a climber now because I have to climb all these stones I should have taken slight left like I was, say, I was saying earlier oh my god I can't even move my lips because it's all crack it's like getting, getting stick up to each other yeah I should have come from that side but this is fun this is fun so, let me enjoy this I think I should avoid sunglasses and be careful here because in case if there's if there are bears around I have to see them first and take precautions not to get too close and if I see them first I should avoid getting close to them so no more sunglasses now Start up zone. This way. Maybe I'll take left from here. I'll take left from here and go go to the ridge. And again here at the ridge there is a snow. And it might be slippery. And my shoe is not for the snow. So let's see. Wow. Jello forward forward
these stones are not stable when you stumble on it when you put your foot when I put my foot on it so they are like this Oh my god, where do I go now? Wait I'm scared man I'm scared Not the climbing but the There There might be there I have to be careful Because there are a lot of holes And space between the stones In the piles of stone They fear animal They shelter what if I come across a baby or oh, bear cubs and a mother? Wow, I have to be careful. Huh? Look at these stones. It was very close by But it has taken all my energy <laughs> oh, Look at the view, it's beautiful You can see the whole valley stretch To the edge of the lake It's very boss That is Padum town 
on how far being blocked by this slope we will go up there and where we can see the whole valley and <laughs> nobody's gonna hear me Go ahead!